Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Holiday season is upon us. You want to get a cool gift for the guy that has everything and he's into firearms? Check this out from Goat Guns. You can see it's uh, not made for rocket scientists. Anybody can put this together. Uh, this was sent to the channel by Goat Guns. Thank you very much. They wanted me to check it out. And it's, uh, you can see a one-third non-firing replica. This is a gold AK-47. And let's, uh, let's check out this box. Flip it over the back, it gives you a little rundown what Sergeant Gunner wants you to know about his guns. Uh, extreme attention is paid to detail of these guns. They're collectible, non-firing, die-cast models, so they're not plastic. Uh, and uh, you'll join the ranks of Sergeant Gunner's Elite Club by buying this. And this has their Facebook website, facebook.com slash goatguns. They're on Instagram, at goatguns. And uh, it tells you it was uh, designed and sold in America, but made in China. Okay? So this is something new to me never seen or heard of them let's open it up all right open this bad boy up sorry for the reflection let's see what do we get inside Put the box aside got some directions here it's one page it tells you the uh, assembly instructions it doesn't look like it's too too much there's 22 pieces it looks like i'll put that here for now and let's open it up So it's got a plastic cover. The inside is a, a soft touch plastic tray with almost like a uh, velvet glued onto it. And uh, here are the pieces. Let's first let's take off the tape. All right, so let's uh, see what we got here. We got a screw and some, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five screws, a spring, and it looks like the cleaning rod. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So let's assemble this bad boy, all right? So there are no directions other than the picture. So let's go by, see if I can do this while looking through the viewfinder into that and not bump on the camera. Let's see how this goes, okay? Let's get everything the way it should be before Jared knocks it over and loses everything. All right, so we'll go one and two. So we'll take the barrel assembly. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is. It's actual, it's metal, it's die cast, it's, it's pretty cool. It has uh, some cool weight to it. And uh, let's see if I can do a quick close up before we start going here. So you see it's gold colored and looks just like a real AK. You can see it has the rear sight aperture, front sight aperture is there. This is pretty cool. Let's put on the muzzle brake. Taking care not to cross through this because I'm looking through a camera. Okay, got that on. Did have to use a little bit of force just because the paint was on the threads. And you want to line this up, obviously. There's a divot on the bottom. Looks like we're, we're going to be able to remove the, <laughs> the cleaning rod. It's pretty cool. If you have an AK, this is pretty spot on if you have one. You know what I'm talking about. Let's go to the receiver. Like I said, there's no directions here, so we're doing this together. Let's go to the receiver next. Again, it's pretty... Uh, does the safety operate? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. The safety operates. Mag release operates. This is pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's put this together. You can see... Let me see if I can get this. There's a little bit of uh, paint that's in this uh, void where I need to slide the receiver in. So I'm going to do this off screen so I don't break it. You can see we got to work it so that these screw holes line up the screw holes in the receiver and in the barrel assembly and I got a little ways to go so I can try to push that in here okay looks like I got it kind of pretty close you can see all the divots in my fingers I had to squeeze the hell out of this thing looks like I got it in so let's uh let's bolt this down here we got a couple screws all right got those in and realized doing this that the actual the rear sight works <laughs> it's pretty cool you can raise it and lower it so be careful when you're screwing that on not to jack that up. So the next part, let's see, we'll jump right into the stock. And it even has the, uh, the attachment for the sling. <laughs> and slide that right in there. Again, a couple screws. So let's take care of that and bolt that down. All right, stock is on. Looking pretty damn realistic. I got some goop on there from the tape that they secured it with. We'll have to rub that off. 
You can see it has a removable butt plate, which is pretty cool. Next, we'll put on the uh, the furniture. So, okay, so the stock, uh, the furniture up front on the handguard and stuff goes in pretty easy as long as you have two hands and not looking through a camera. And once you get everything lined up, it screws uh, right there to secure everything, nice and tight. So next, we'll try this uh, the cleaning rod. Looks like it slides right down in there. There's a hole all the way through. Let me take this off camera. This is cool. Cleaning rods in. You can see that there. It slides right down through. There's a hole here, here, and here. Slide it right in. So let's work on the action. Let me put this down and see what we got here. We have the dust cover. The uh, bolt carrier group. Pretty cool, man. All right, let's put this together here. So we got the spring that goes for the recoil. It's tough to do this, man, through the screen, but. Okay, so we'll get that all buttoned up and put it inside here. Okay, you slide that straight up in there. And again, you got some paint in there that changed some of the clearances, but you can get it in and if you pull the trigger here, you'll, you'll see it gives you the space to slide it in. Next, we'll go with the recoil spring. And it's not as much of a pain as a real AK. Let's see if the dust cover is though. If you have an AK-47, you know that this is a pain in the ass. Let's see. do it off screen so I there we go so just like a real AK-47 the dust cover is a pain in the butt to get on but it does snap on once you pay attention to what you're doing um, there's three rounds and a magazine okay so you snap your three rounds in you can see that there All right, let's load them in We go. Locks in. Okay, so it doesn't actually this doesn't cycle far enough because the pieces that hold it together aren't. It's not a real gun, so it's. I mean, it does say non-firing, so it doesn't actually load the round. But the action works. Your safety works. Not too bad. Or full scale well one-third scale replica of a gold AK-47 not bad and it comes with this little mount let's see so the one-third scale non-firing replica AK-47 gold version from Goat Guns thank you Goat Guns for sending this to the channel uh, if you want the gift for somebody who has everything and is into guns check out their website they have a couple different firearms to choose from and uh, it's Black Friday probably a good time to stop buying some gifts right the link will be in the description. Thank you, Goat Guns, for sending this to the channel. This is pretty cool. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, uh, and a, a real one. Take care, everybody.